What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Spotlight On. I'm here with my partner, Louie, and today, guys, we are at Rescue Company Number Two's original quarters here on 160 Carlton Avenue. Now, Rescue Two is one of five elite rescue companies of the FDNY. One of the main reasons, guys, that Rescue Two was originally organized, in the early 20s, there was a fire in a submarine, believe it or not, in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. At that time, Rescue One was the only rescue in the city, and they were housed in Manhattan. They were assigned to respond, but it just took too long to get to the fire to use their special equipment. So Rescue Two was organized in 1925. So guys, Rescue Two came here in 1925. They were here from 1925 to 1929, and then they went to J Street in downtown Brooklyn. We'll be heading there next. And then in 1946, they came back to here. Now, the reason why this is so near and dear to my heart is because as a probie, I was assigned to 210. Now, Rescue 2 was gone by then, but the remnants of them were still here. The big dog, uh, bulldog pictures and the Rescue 2 was all over the place. So, as a young probie, I had wishful thinkings, not really realizing that one day I would actually work in Rescue 2. All right, guys, another thing about this firehouse, a unique thing, is that the companies run front to back, kind of like butts to nuts. You just really don't want to do it but both rigs are gonna be lined up and if the company in the rear had a run, the chauffeur in the front would just have to get up no matter what time, move the rig so the company could respond and you could just imagine what a pain in the butt that would be. So we call this the house of pain. All right guys, here we are in the hustle and bustle in downtown Brooklyn area at the second quarters for Rescue 2, 365 J Street. They were here from 1929 to 1946. It also served as the Brooklyn Fire Department headquarters before they actually became the FDNY. Guys, look at this building. I really have to say, I've been to a lot of firehouses in the city and this is without a doubt one of the most ornate and beautiful buildings that we have. It's just a testament uh, to how we did things back in the day. And not only is it a, a really nice piece of fire department history, it's a, a good piece of New York City history. But right now we're gonna head over to the third home of Rescue 2 on Bergen Street in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. We'll see you there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, buffs of all ages, here we are at the third quarter. Like buffs, of all, buffs <laughs> of all ages. I don't like buffs, it's no good. We're talking to buffs! <laughs> here we are on Bergen Street. Bergen Street. This is the spot that actually me and Louie got to work a couple of tours at. Uh, the third quarters of rescue company number two. Now, as we all know, the rescue companies are elite, highly trained in both uh, scuba, in extrication, in collapse, high angle, etc. But what Rescue 2 is mostly known for is fire. These boys go to roughly three fires a day. That's three fires a day, guys. So they've had some real notable fires over the years, over their history. One that sticks out to me happened on December 16, 1960, when there was a plane crash. Two planes collided over Brooklyn and landed in Park Slope, Brooklyn, the neighborhood which isn't too far from here. And 44 bodies were recovered, but Rescue 2 operated for 72 hours continuously. Incredible. And check this out, guys. Not only three days later, Rescue 2 gets turned out for the USS Constellation fire, which was an aircraft carrier under construction went on fire, they actually, the city actually called all five rescues to use their torches and their breathing masks and every other special uh, tool that they had to uh, reach the 300 and something trapped workers. Uh, unfortunately, 50 workers did not make it. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over to Sterling Place, which is the current quarters of Rescue 2, and you're just not gonna believe what you're gonna see with this new firehouse. We'll see you over there. All right, guys, here we are on our final stop on this Spotlight on Rescue 2. This is their current quarters here on Sterling Street. It's a state-of-the-art, brand-new quarters for Rescue Company number two. It's like an amusement park for firefighters. I smell the smoke. There's a high-angle wall. There's catways. It's an amazing place, bro.
Hey, Louie, did you ever hear of a six-foot hook? I have. How about a ten-foot hook? I have. You need a pretty big hook to get in this <laughs> shop, bro. All right, these guys are the real deal in the FDNY. Over their history, they've had 57 unit citations and 79 Medal of Honor winners. Of course, with all of the reward comes the risk. Unfortunately, they've had 10 line of duty deaths, seven of those coming on 9-11 in 2001. So guys, we all know the risks that we take when we sign up for this job. We do it to protect life and property, and we do it for the brotherhood, and we do it for the love of the job. Whether you're in Montana or you're in Wyoming or South Texas, we all face those same dangers. So that puts a cap on this episode of Spotlight On Rescue 2. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you like and share and subscribe to our <laughs> podcast. Hit the little red button. Hit the little red button, subscribe, share it with your friends. And if you want some cool gear, check us out on gettingsaltyapparel.com. From the busiest firehouse in the world, stay low and go. I'm out of here. See you at the big one.